Hey fellas. Well, whether or not uh, these rumors about a full-on on direct or at least another partner showcase is this week are true, I thought I would give you, as I did earlier this year, my belated your thoughts on the newest Nintendo Indie World Showcase. Hey, main which is the new name for the Nindies, main He's in. I just to make things easier, I'm just gonna be going in order of of each each my title was just as shown in the direct and, and giving you a date. It's when they're coming out. Some of which actually came out right after or the direct finished as early this month, but for ones that have still yet to be released, I put I'm gonna put the dates as well as the timestamps in the description, so let's get started. Yeah. Okay, first off, coming this fall, Hades, which is obviously a great a game that's heavily influenced by uh, Greek mythology, which, and the gameplay seems to be reminiscent of a title I'll, I'll call Bastion, which I'm quite pleased with, someone who really enjoys that game. If you have not played that title, I severely recommend it. It's definitely been one of my favorites, but Western RPGs, he's over the last decade or so, man. Oh, I mean, and given how Greek mythology and this day and this this Lord of Liver Sticks in particular have been featured in many different fictional works over the years, as well as many video games, with him appearing in everything from Kid Icarus to God of War, where I am definitely very curious to see hey, what this is going to be like. So, here we go. Okay, next up, Hypno Space Outlaw, which is actually coming out this week on the 27th, imagine that. And so, oh, this one is a sort of mystery game, except the gameplay takes place on on the very, very 1990s internet, I mean, and as if to say, you're going surfing on the internet. <laughs> like that can't be, instructional video has been very memed over the years. And there's a free demo I might check out, out once I get a chance to, and the new Smash tourney is over this evening. Evening ahead of this. This and uh, it's always been a fascinating concept to me about even in this day and age what the net can do. And so even though it's obviously not going to be the same kind of a dark introspective have have often somewhat topical nature cyber 277 will be it should be interesting nonetheless yeah okay now i'm getting the first game which was dropped right after direct finished streaming and another pleasant surprise spirit fair i mentioned this game hey before i believe during e3 last year here before everything went sideways and E3 itself was canned and they might be they might be trying to come back next year but we'll see hey but anyway since I don't have an Xbox one on this is quite pleasing given how and also very unique take on on the afterlife as well which is always a concept that's fascinated me hey every a culture and structural belief has an idea of what might happen after you die. I but one concept between all I've noticed is that it suggests that in a way death is not the end but rather a new beginning. And then as someone who has has lost loved ones in the time even before all this happened, there's a concept I think should be interesting to explore in this game. Aim, so I'm eager to give it a try when I get a chance to. Yes. Okay, a quick aside on Garden Story since... And this one did not stand out at me too much. Much since... 
I mean, I really don't play a whole lot of uh, uh, farming simulator RPG hybrids. Like the most I played are the are the Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons games of games. When some of them I enjoy more than others, like one of the ones which is a spin-off that involves the live ones, actually kind of interesting. And and, and I don't play Stardew Valley, but I know people that do. It didn't look like something that would interest me too much, but. Again, it's coming out in 2021. Hopefully, people will put me wrong. Okay. Another one coming out in 2021 I'm just going to briefly address. Subnautica and its sequel, Subnautica Below Zero. These ones have been out on other platforms for a while now. And it be interesting to see how the Switch handle those ones, given how some um, um, ports of other uh, games have fared better than others. I mean... But typically, they haven't had to make as many sacrifices as as the head would say, like like when they're porting titles to the Wii and PC in the 360 era. I mean, I mean, and in, in many cases, it didn't give them straight ports so much as make take different games, games where that's in that same brand, like around the same hardware. Here, but I've seen some. Um, good jobs done with things like the Bioshock trilogy, hey, some of the Borderlands games, games, and some of the ones I personally enjoy. I think more people should play like Awful oh, Strangers Wrath, the main, at the main, and again, and also, even if the original Nino Kuni, the, rather the first one, couldn't wasn't a totally mess that the PS4 version was. The fact that even the base PS3 version could run system at all is something sort of incredible. Like how a big old Blu-ray disc could 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 fit it on something hey, that's a cartridge that's that big. I mean I mean with and also the Witcher 3 is not a people one people bring up, but again I'm just gonna keep going and hanging with some other titles here. <sighs> so a couple more titles that just dropped right after her the stream ended. The first one, Takeshi and Hiroshi, which tells a simple story of indie game developer who was working out of his house and is giving titles to his younger brother how to play. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? And given how now, for fairly obvious reasons, a lot of people are just trying to stay close, close to those we know. No, so, I mean, I think it's another one that's held and and as a counterpoint to the whole waste of time narrative, this is one of the ones that actually has been thriving, to be honest, like how I'll be addressing this more as some of the other picks, but it allows me, whether it's something I've played Made for hours upon hours, and I've only put in even more, or something that I haven't played in years, or something I haven't played at all. It allows me to focus my energy on something else. And else, when, because let's face it, it's reality here is heavy enough as it is. Sometimes we need a something like that to take our mind off of it. Hmm. <laughs> Another one that dropped right when the stream ended had Raji and Ancient Epic, as the title implies. It's a story that's heavily influenced by Indian mythology. It's actually developed in Hampton, that country, and and I gotta admit, I mean, there that's definitely one that has yet to be fully, fully tapped for or for a lot of these meetings like well, there are some games that have had parts of the story set there, and as well as others that have used their characters, characters in different contexts. X Men. I gotta say, seeing him there and them hit it this way is a first for me. And if anyone wants to explain this, be sure to let me know what it's like. So I will let know whether it's not. I'll be willing to try it, but it definitely looks quite. Fascinating, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Okay. Another side 
but more of it in the case where I don't know what to make of it for next year. Bear and Breakfast. No, I am not making up this title. I all mean, this is a unique, another unique title where you are a bear that's in charge of a breakfast nook and you have to not only prepare dishes for the customers, also try and build relationships with them, try and get them coming back. X, given how, how strange this could be, it's definitely want to be keeping an eye on when it comes out in 2021, so yeah. Okay, I think this might be the last title that dropped rather than direct streamed, and I'm not entirely certain based on what else I'm going to be addressing, but that's a short hike, which is not the only game where I could accomplish this, yes, but it definitely is one that I think could work, I mean, given how, depending on what... Uh, your particular phase of when they're getting trying to get the ball rolling again, which at this point is most like trying to push a boulder up a hill, hill every time, I'm someone else wants to get sicker, or the the boulder will just roll back right back down. Um, but it definitely has an appeal. I can understand. I mean, a lot of tiles I've played, paid. I fell on two purposes. One of them is giving me a world to get lost in when, again, the real world, all is not necessarily possible to do so. Oh, so. I definitely will be keeping this up. Yeah. Okay. Another one that's coming in 2021 before I kind of go into a bit of a lightning round of titles. Knows that I, that were kind of been late near the end of the stream, um, but at the very of interest. But Card Shark, which is a sort of sort of game where you play the role of a 19th century gambler, or so. Oh, it so it has no relation to the classic game show that I watched when I was younger on the Game Show Network and reruns. I'm not that old. Not yet. And so, it's another title that I'm not sure what to make of, but again, I might have to keep an eye on it when it comes out next year. So it's another one of those ones I'm going to be waiting to see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to be going through these mainly because uh, as I don't plan on getting them right when they come out. I mean, some of them I don't plan on addressing too much beyond this, but they'll be on my radar regardless, I mean, uh, so, Torchlight 3, which has already been on other consoles, Manifold Garden, and Evergate, I think these were also other ones that may have actually just kind of been dropped right when the stream finished, yes, but I'm not sure, Haven, doesn't have an actual date, just says this year, Going Under, and release in the Evanescence Song, that on September 24th. The Red Lantern, which will be in full. Unveiled, September 23rd. Struggling, on the 27th, again. This is the last, last part of this one's gonna be a big one, has in one. Inmost, I think it might be another one that just dropped at the end of the stream. Him. Him. She Dreams Elsewhere, definitely might be interesting coming into 2021. And both Grindstone and Gorbiner 2 coming out this fall. Don't ask me to do that again. Okay, so for my wrap up, before I work on some of my other videos, as well as getting this place safe for my new nephew, who, who I've... Oh, there is a multiplayer update for the smash hit, the Antal Goose game, which I'll definitely will be getting to try once I have the chance. And which will be dropping on September 23rd, given how to become a viral sensation of sorts, being spoofed in many, many other other arts, and even in the Muppets that's got in that during the Game Awards last year with Honeydew and Beaker suffering another one of their trademark meltdowns where 
speaker and when he gets a VR goggle stuck to his head. I mean, if, if a cartoon goose who spooks him, him, I can only imagine what he's going to be like if he ever, ever tries Half-Life Alex. I mean, like so... But I'll, I had not seen Muppets Now on Disney Plus yet, but I'll, I heard it's really funny, so I'll probably be putting that on the schedule of Disney Plus as well. I'll, and, like, anyway, might be able to see some more films soon. I've got some of my masks ready to go. And, and thankfully, I'm going to just popping things in and even sticking a straw in there, so. Whether or not uh, there will be a dread this week, I'll definitely address it. And if that, if and when it does happen, I will talk to you all later.